Hello everyone, this is Jason with Preston Street Market and I have a special video today. I have a, I didn't quite get the label pulled off. I have a viewer consignment, a subscriber consignment um, that is a subscriber to, to my channel, sent in their jewelry for me to unbox and sell on their behalf in my weekly jewelry auction. Um, this opportunity is open to anyone who is interested. Just shoot me an email and I will let you know how the process works. Um, let me get this open. She did a good job taping it. Just trying not to get her label. All right. I'll give you a little peek. Goodies. We have goodies. So... Most of the time, these are mystery. They'll send me, I, I do ask for a couple of pictures, but there are some people that have been consigning with me for a while since I started my channel. Um, and uh, they know what I like and what my customers like, so they don't send me pictures any longer. Um, but for someone who is new to this process, I will probably ask you for some pictures so that we can you know, make sure that I can do justice to your merchandise. So thank you so much for being here and for watching. This is a, a mystery to me. I think I saw maybe four or five pictures. Um, and then everything else we're going to undo and look at together. So please subscribe if you haven't. If you're interested in selling, just give me, um, give me a buzz. My Contact information, again, is in the description box below. All right, let's go. All right. Ooh, look at that amber. That is beautiful. I hope that's coming through good. Really, really nice. Beautiful, chunky amber. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's see what's next. Ooh. Ooh, angel skin coral. Ooh, this is, this is beautiful. Let's see, what do you say? There's something written on the back. Hmm. La Coral. I apologize, my neighbor, of course, as I sat down. He's out there trimming his trees and mine. So I don't think it's set in 14K. I'll look, of course, look closer. But these are very, very nice um, uh, angel skin coral pieces. Um, and in very, very good condition. A lot of people love these. Um, and I think it kind of fits the boho um, aesthetic. I like that bag too. All right, let's see. Pearls, pearls, pearls. Let's see. Ooh, these puppies are real. Mm. Sterling. I'm pretty sure that's 925. Forgive me, my hands. We have been working crazy. I might go live um, an, another day. Not live, but I might do a video to show you all the project I'm working on right now. Aside from jewelry, I do, I auction regular estates. I usually do one estate a week and then one jewelry um, the following week. God, these are pretty. But anyhow, I'm working on a hoarder estate right now um, for a family that um, I've uh, worked with before. So I might do a video just to kind of show you guys what, what we go through. These are beautiful, genuine pearls. I mean, stunning. They're, they're huge, probably at least eight millimeters, I would imagine, with that sterling closure. Just very, very pretty. Very luxurious. <laughs> Right. And we 
have a ring. Sterling, it looks like, um, oh, dang, now mine's going blank now. There's a company that does this style. So you see it's Sterling. Um, I've sold a brooch that has this sort of very similar motif to it. And I cannot remember, but that's a nice vintage ring. Let's see, Ooh, another ring. Let's have a look. Ooh, beautiful fire opal. I'm pretty sure that's a fire opal. Very, very pretty. Let's see. It's like gold filled. Maybe gold filled, but that's really, really stunning. Really, really pretty. Opals are so nice. Even faux opals, they just, they just always are very elegant. Ooh. Blingy brooch. Look at that. This has got to be somebody. That's beautiful. Let's see. Let's see. It says night. I think this might be the Valentino. Yes, this is Valentino. This is one piece I did see, if you guys can see right there. Valentino, beautiful vintage Valentino brooch. I mean, it does not get better than that. Look. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. High grade rock quartz. I'm trying to be very, very careful. Oh yeah, it's like holding water, holding an ice cube. And they're of course cold. Gemstones, typically um, you can identify a gemstone just by touch. A gemstone will be cold. And you can see there um, that it says 925. I'm not even gonna zoom because I know that's what it says. Beautiful, beautiful, clean, clear, beautiful quartz. This is not to be confused with rock crystal. Rock crystal, you will see a lot of pockets of air, bubbles. Um, this is definitely um, uh, rock quartz. All right. I like the looks of this already. Sort of an abstract um, pendant necklace. Monet. Yep, Monet. Good vintage silver tone Monet. Very, very kind of brutalist. I love it. And my customers are going to love it. So this house I've been working on, there was quite a bit of jewelry. In fact, it's live right now on my auction. Closes tomorrow at 6 p.m. Which I actually, I think by the time you guys see this video, it will have already closed. But she had some jewelry. I think we've done over 600 lots of jewelry from her estate so far. All right, so this is Sterling. I can tell from that. It says Sterling. It's definitely older. These are genuine pearls, yes. So a lot of people ask me, how do you know if it's genuine? So the easiest way if it's clean and sanitized is just to very gently rub the pearl against your tooth and it should feel very gritty and you're gonna taste salt. Another way is to very gently rub two of them together, very, very gently, and it should feel very gritty and sandy. And that is a very good indicator um, that you have real pearls and these are, these are stunning. And that closure is just, just amazing. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. So we have some sterling marcasite. Let me see. 
see, is that what we have? Oh yeah. Sterling Marcasite Garnet. Yeah, marked there. I'm not seeing another mark. So that is definitely Sterling Silver, Sterling Chain. Let's see, flip it that way. Yep. So Sterling Silver Necklace. Very, very nice. Very pretty. Blue Kyanite and Labradorite Pendant Necklace set in sterling. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, look. Labradorite is becoming one of my most favorite gemstones. There's something about it that is just looks absolutely luxurious. And it may be those sort of peacock colors that are pulling me. That's beautiful. Definitely older. Let's look at the stones. Those are onyx. And then um, kyanite. Absolutely stunning artisan piece. Here's the closure. Pretty sound it makes. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Amazing piece. It's going to be hard to pick a favorite. I have so many already. Right. I don't want to overload the screen too much. All right. So we have some hoop earrings. Um, I'm not sure if they're gold or sterling with vermeil. Let's see. They are signed. Let's see if we can get it to come up. No, can you all see? Let me back out. I'm going to use my loop. All right. It says... CKS. I'm not sure what that means. Ah, there we go. So it is sterling with a gold vermil. So it's going to be kind of hard to see, but there's the 925 there. So that's very good um, quality sterling with a gold um, vermil hoop. Beautiful. All right, let's see. We have Park Lane. I hope you all can see Park Lane. Nice vintage uh, rhinestone and faux pearl necklace. And now these are not dead stones, that darkened color. That doesn't mean that they're dead. Um, that just means those are actually like black rhinestones um, with faux pearls. Very beautiful. Sterling, I'm sure. Yep. All right, we have a sterling silver pendant. Ooh. It's got three little stones. Those are very likely sapphire, but I'll use my uh, machine at the office to test them. But this is beautiful. Beautiful silky chain with that sort of dramatic pendant. That's wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. I hope the light's okay. Another brooch. Love my brooches. Let's look. I always like to see the back first. All right, Monet. So we have a textured, brushed, gold tone uh, Monet brooch. Classic, classic. Another pretty brooch. It's like mixed metal. And it's etched on the back. Let's see. 
Valdez something. I'll look at it closer, but yeah, that's going to be sterling mixed metal. That's probably a garnet there. I'll have to look closer under better lighting, but that's beautiful. Very beautiful. Ooh. We have turquoise. So this is real turquoise. This is not dyed halite, I don't think. It's not magnesite that's been dyed. Let's look. I can see better through the phone. Yep. So we have genuine turquoise. And these are little coral beads. And I would suspect set in sterling. Let's have a look. Yeah. It's going to be kind of hard to see, but I can tell you now. That's 925. And it's good timing here. It's rodeo time. Rodeo's huge in Houston. <clears throat> not for me, but for others. <laughs> I'm not a rodeo fan. I like to go for the food and occasionally they'll have an artist that, you know, is, is good. But that's not my bag. Get me to the local Goodwill and I'm happy. Local antique shop. All right, Jade925. Yes, that's beautiful, Jade. The amethyst there, that's so pretty. A lot of people ask, how do you test jade? How do you know? Um, for me, the best thing I can tell you is experience. Um, genuine jade almost has, I have to test it by sound. Genuine jade will sound like a very delicate glass rather than um, that kind of clunking noise. It will sound kind of almost hollow. Um, and sometimes, sometimes, it's only worked for me a few times, but someone told me that you can put a black light against jade and it should glow. It does not work for me, but that's what I was told and um, I'm repeating it and probably shouldn't, but um, hey, everybody's an expert, right? But that's beautiful. Ooh, more 925. And I might have some silver chains around here I can add to these. Mm. Oh, this is stunning. Beautiful gemstone. That's probably, probably an agate. Sterling silver. Nice, weighty, chunky piece. This is very pretty. Very, very pretty. Set in sterling. Not sure. I'll have to hit it with my machine. If it's too dark, I think, for sodalite. It's definitely not lapis, but I have a machine and I have um, a gun that I can point at an item and it will tell me it's, it's, it's chemical makeup and then what the, a possible um, gem it could be. All right, black, T-O-U-R. I don't know if she's saying black tourmaline or if this is um, onyx with a sterling overlay. But that is really, really pretty. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't feel like onyx. That's so pretty. Sterling silver overlay. Very nice. Ooh, is this a, oh, it's a pendant. Ooh, this beautiful peacock sort of. Pearls, cluster pearls. Are they cha-cha-like? Yep. So kind of cha-cha style, dangle. I hope the color's coming through good. Beautiful peacock style pearls set in 925. So pretty. So very pretty. Pearl earrings. Ooh, we have a nice assortment here of sets of genuine pearls. Ooh, these are huge. Look how look how huge and perfect. Very, very perfect. I love them. Okay. These coin style pearls. All genuine, I can tell by looking. Oh, I like these a lot. These are very Baroque. These will sometimes be referred to as Baroque. Corset and Sterling. Beautiful, beautiful. 
nearly perfect. Nearly perfect match. Okay, these are matched. And pearls are making a comeback. So if you need pearls, keep an eye out for my auction because these will be in. I'm thinking I'll post this towards the end of March, but definitely before the 1st of April. Another set, sort of champagne pink pearls. Another champagne pink. Actually, these are all champagne pink. Beautiful coin pearls. And then those beautiful sort of rice, large rice pearls. Very, very nice. There's a lot in here. Ooh, a brooch. My favorite, my favorite. I think this is Sarah. I think this is Coventry. Let's see. Yeah, Sarah Coventry. Very classic brooch. So fine. So pretty. Look at the depth. And it also has the adapter here, so it can be an, a pendant or a brooch, whatever you decide. Ooh, another one. One day I'll do a story time and tell you how I got started in jewelry. I may have mentioned it a couple of times, but it's very kind of interesting um, how I developed my love for jewelry because it's, for many, many years, I would not deal with it at all. I wanted absolutely nothing to do with jewelry. And there is a reason. All right. So, is this Boucher? That's a trademark or a, a number. Is this Boucher? Marcel Boucher? They're the only ones I know that would mark it with a serial number like that. Am I missing another mark? I don't see an MB or the Boucher mark, but that serial number, which I can search by the serial number. Um, let's look at the front. Oh yeah, that's beautiful gold tone. Very vintage, kind of filigree edges. And then here it has a ring where it could be a pendant or you can wear it as a brooch. And I'm pretty sure that this is Boucher with that mark, <clears throat> that numbered mark. I'm just not seeing the Boucher. Um, cartouche anywhere, but that doesn't mean anything. I'll look it up by that number, but this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, Millefiori. My best friend is in Italy right now. She's in... Um, Oh gosh, of course, I'm going to tell the story and I can't remember. She is in Sardinia. That's where she's at. She's in Sardinia and then she's going to Florence and she's taking an entire month off and she's also an auctioneer. Um, and for her to take a month off is very unusual. So I'm so glad that she decided to do that because everybody needs a break. And I'm going to Europe too. I leave April the 1st. I'm going to be in Europe for 11 days. Um, so yeah, during that time... From April 1st to the 12th, I will not be, I'll be out of the country. So if you contact me or need anything during that time period, just know why I won't respond. Um, I'll respond if I can, but if you don't get an immediate response, then that is why, because I'm, I'm in Europe. Beautiful Millefiori um, earrings. She did her homework, this this um, consigner. She looked at my other auctions, my closed auctions, and she sees what sells and what doesn't. And my customers definitely love Millefiori. A beautiful bracelet. And all of that should be set in sterling. I think she wrote 925 on the back. Oh, this is funny. I just sold a brooch very similar to this last week. Yeah, I think it's Turkish. Let me see. Oh, it's not. It's Norway. Norwegian. Norway Sterling. 925. It's got those sort of gold discs. 
Get back you out so you aren't looking at my dry hands. I need to get a manicure while I'm in Europe, huh? Dad, damn it. A beautiful sterling silver with that gold um, dangles. Beautiful. Still pulling, still pulling. It's a big load. And there is no minimum and no maximum to what you can send. Um, I will I will take care of the shipping for you if you decide that you want to consign. I'll send you a prepaid label. That way you aren't out any of the shipping. Um, and allowing subscribers to consign with me is, is very new. You know, I have local consigners. That's, you know, 30% of my business. And, um, um, they've been with me for a long time. So, um, this is, this is exciting to, to have another avenue to meet people and, and to get more jewelry. Okay. This is signed in all kinds of places. So I don't know if that says DTR, multiple signatures, but this is really, really pretty. I might not even polish this because it looks, it looks right with that sort of tarnished, worn look. SR925, and it's got something there. And these are really, look how striking. I'm not quite sure what that is, if it's like a sea glass. Or what type of stone that would be. You see the iridescence to it? Gosh, that's pretty. I like it. I love it. All right. Ooh, pretty faceted AB crystal necklace. Let's see. Oh, and we're set in sterling. All right, so sterling silver with some faceted AB that is Aurora Borealis. If you hear me say AB, that's that's how we call Aurora Borealis. Beautiful necklace. Really, really nice. Oh, beautiful sterling Omega chain. I'm pretty sure it's sterling. I don't even have to. Yeah. So an Omega chain with this really pretty Bali style pendant. Black onyx. It's marked, I'm sure, somewhere. Oh, there we go. Thailand 925. Very, very pretty. Sorry about the Zoom. As <laughs> I've said in the past few videos, I'm still trying to get used to the new iPhone um, features, and it's not easy. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, my goodness, we got a lot. What is this gold tone beauty? What in the world? Let me see. Monet. Hmm. This is special. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look how fabulous. And this is like super on trend with that mob wife aesthetic that's trending about. Oh, I love this. Love this. I think I actually, this consigner is also an eBay seller. And I think I saw this on her eBay store. This is beautiful. Wow. Really, really stunning. I don't know what is my favorite. I don't think I can pick a favorite. And I'm loving these big bags. Right. Ooh, beautiful. Let's see, what do we have? Park Lane? Yeah, Park Lane. So we have a black acrylic, and these are lucite, like a frosted lucite. Very vintage. Very, very pretty. Beautiful, beautiful necklace. All right, and then we have a triple strand, and I'm sure that these probably glow. That's probably uranium. 
But these are making a comeback for sure. Triple strand, made in Japan. Probably made in Japan. Made in Japan. I'll have to put my black light to those and see if they glow. I would suspect it's definitely uranium. That's beautiful, beautiful. Anything green wins me over. Ooh, pretty, um, it's acrylic, white acrylic. Oh, there we go. That's Crown Trafari. That's their hang tag. So this is very vintage, has that vintage roll-on closure. Very, very nice. Gold spacers in between. It's a lovely vintage piece, classic uh, Crown Trafari. See, turquoise citrine and agate. Oh yeah. This jewelry even smells good. Sterling silver. So we have, yeah, we have carnelian, agate, turquoise. Lots of beautiful stones. Very, very nice. Set in sterling. Very pretty piece. All right. So sometimes these bracelets can be Tibetan silver and not sterling. I'll have to, um, of course... Uh, check everything very well. Everything is tested, but beautiful. Those are coral beads. Let's zoom in. You can kind of see the striations. So those are genuine coral. So I would probably feel comfortable saying this is sterling. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, it's sterling. And people think these are not strong. These are really strong magnets. I put two together, of course, but this is my magnet that I always use. It's better than my big industrial magnet. Beautiful piece. I'm fairly certain is uh, sterling. Ooh. All right. Oh, this is Silpata. So this is the mark for Silpata. That's their cartouche. So it's sterling silver. And then a sort of pierced, um, reticulated... Um, not sure, not quite sure what this is. Some sort of shell of some kind. Very pretty, very different. Sterling silver, sort of a leathery, felt leathery um, chain. Then we have, okay, bracelet. Also Silpata. You can see there, so that's sterling. Should be natural stones, genuine pearls. That's a very pretty piece of Silpata. I don't know why people knock this brand. They made really, really nice jewelry. Um, and a lot of people don't realize that they made, you know, nice quality jewelry with um, precious metal and, and semi-precious stones. Um, they're not just, um, you know, simple costume. That's pretty. Dragon's blood. Dragon's blood. That's so pretty. Dragon's blood disc pendant with a snake chain. Also sterling. All sterling silver. Very pretty. A brooch, which is are my favorite. Let's look at the back. All right, so this is definitely old. You can tell by the closure there. Oh, it's a little Delft, little Delft blue and white ceramic lighthouse pen. Definitely uh, is going to be sterling. Pretty. Ooh, I like the cloisonne. Ooh, look at that closure, too. And that's sterling. Look how pretty. Look at these cloisonne beads. Oh, 
just beautiful, beautiful. And those are onyx beads, ice cold. Let's look at the back. Oh, Crown Trafari. Well, there's the Crown Trafari. You can see the little crown above the T right there. That indicates Crown Trafari. Ooh, very, very textured gold tone. Very pretty. Um, crown Trafari. And Crown Trafari is an older, it, it indicates age. 925 random earrings. Ooh. All right, so we have a smorgasbord. So they are matched. So we have some abalone. We have some more abalone. Beautiful abalone earrings. These look like leopard skin jasper. have some dangles. These are all sterling. Pretty, pretty. This is like a moss agate, maybe. Well, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe some sort of moss. It's ice cold, but kind of a satin sheen. Possibly jade. Mmm. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's an old pool, pool, pools of light or pool of lights that you all taught me. I'd never heard of that before. That's pretty. Fun, fun, fun. More abalone. See, these are these are per these are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. These are all all artisan. Really pretty. We have some rose quartz. These look like not turquoise, but have to hit it with my machine. Now these are going to be turquoise. Very, very pretty. Some dangly earrings. So, so pretty. Put these here. So, oh, so excited. Everything's so clean. All right. So this is sterling. It's a very unique closure, sort of like a trombone. No, so it'll slide into, yeah. Maybe goes that way. No. Anyway. I'll work on it. I know how it goes. It's just, it's hard to see it through the camera. So you have these colorful beads. These are glass. Um, I don't believe they're not gemstones or any kind of dyed yet. They're glass. But I love that closure. Very unique. Ooh. So this looks like garnet. This is a lariat style. Um with these sterling um, pendants at the end. I really like these. She's saying red glass or garnet chips. Okay. Yeah, so these are definitely garnets, and so maybe this is what she was questioning might be, um, just like a red glass. But this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. ring. We have a pretty ring. Some mother of pearl. I'm like a black on onyx. Oh, look at the inside. It's very cool looking. And I'm sure it's signed. Yep. You can kind of see it there. But that's really very pretty. Beautiful. Ooh. We have a gold filigree. Um butterfly probably gold filled let's see I don't see any markings right away it's definitely got age to it but that sort of spun gold filigree 
um, very vintage. She's oh, 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 three different bracelets. All right, sterling, pearl. This is a, some kind of spotted jasper. Look at that closure. It's a really nice artisan piece. Then we have this, and this is somebody I cannot recall off the top of my head. Look at that. That closure is so cool. More. I think those are Jasper, maybe? Jasper beads, this looks like. Yeah, those are Jasper. And then here, more sterling with really pretty beads. Very, very pretty beads. Look at that. Stunning. I don't know what I like more. Right, so we have some sterling, I think. I see a little bit of verdigris right there. They are marked. I'll test them to make sure and I'll try to clean up that verdigris, but that's nice amethyst. I would imagine that's amethyst. It looks a little light in the camera, but it's actually, you know, quite vibrant. So I'll be able, I will try to clean that up. Beautiful AB, and enameling. Looks to be in good shape. Might be a Lisner. Star, okay. Star is also a very good costume designer. If you guys can see. Have mercy. Yeah. Star. A beautiful uh, silver tone and it feels like it's rhodium plated. I'll have to look and see if they were known for rhodium plating but it's very smooth in the back and um, reminds me of rhodium. That's very pretty. Ooh, this is pretty too. I'm gonna actually leave that bag as matching earrings. Is this Catherine? TCS. Hmm. TCS. I'm not sure. I'll have to do my research on this, but ooh, look, look, look how pretty. It's gorgeous. Sort of opalescent stones. Look how pretty. Mm. Love it. Looks like we've got earrings to match. I'm going to actually keep this in the bag. I don't want those to get tangled. Mm. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm stumped on what this is. Oh, it's got a tag. Okay, Nathan. Nate, Nate and something. It is sterling, very nice. Beautiful stones, those are nice Baroque genuine pearls. These look like smoky quartz or smoky topaz. And this, I mean, it might be labradorite. I'm, labradorite, I'm not sure. And then these, I just don't know. I'll get my gun out and and shoot it and see what it says, but that's so pretty. Very, very nice. Very nice necklace. All right, next. What? Oh, rock quartz, yep. Ooh, very cha-cha. So we have um, faceted rock quartz with some pearl dangle. Those are real, it's set in sterling. So pretty, so very pretty. Ooh, more amber. Look 
for the West. Mm, okay, I see what she's saying. Look how beautiful, beautiful, beautiful amber. Look how pretty. Natural made stone. Or naturally occurring, I should say. Very, very pretty. <clears throat> Oh my goodness, this video is getting long, long, long. But I'm going to just do it in one big one instead of making you all wait. I want you to see everything at once. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, yeah. So these are milk glass, white glass um, beads with gold tone. Let's see who are you going to be. Ooh, this is a crown trafari. So this is going to be a really nice piece. Yeah, that's Crown Trafari. Um, I've never seen this one before. I'm going to look in the Trafari book. This is very, very nice. Beautiful white glass beads. Very, very pretty. And more pearls. Pearls, pearls, pearls. So sort of a harvest. Reminds me of like a harvest or fall. Fall all colors. Let's see. Set in sterling. These are genuine pearls, little um, rice pearls that have been dyed. Very, very pretty. Mm, more gold tone, more gold tone. Let's see. All right, that's Accessa Craft. Accessa Craft, they did jewelry, and then they also, also made a, a lot of the um, jewelry, like trinket boxes and little, some people will call them um, um, jewelry caskets. Um, they design a lot of like bathroom vanity pieces, and this is um, a beautiful gold tone example. Um, very nice. Careful. Oh, look how pretty. Pretty, pretty. Let's see. Not seeing anything right away. But I think I see a cartouche. And I do. What do you say? Citation. Okay. Very beautiful. Very, very nice piece. Let me back you guys out a little bit. All right. It just keeps going and going and going. All right. Ooh, Givenchy. The beautiful Givenchy glass pearls with silver tone. Very classy, high-end um, piece. Beautiful. Have some amethyst. Very likely sterling. Yep, smart. So a sterling amethyst uh, butterfly uh, necklace. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Mexico TR, so this will be a Taxco piece. So nice, chunky Taxco um, Onyx pendant. The snake chain, also gonna be sterling. It's a nice vintage piece, kind of weighty. Then we've got, this might be Vandell. Let me go in and see. Can't really see what that says. Let me look through the loop. Oh, it's Sterling. Sterling CC. It's got a beautiful solitaire uh, pearl there. Very pretty piece. 
Ooh. This is very interesting. Let's look at this. Silver tone with the gold tone. Kind of looks like a couple getting married. Oh, it's JJ. So my nephews call me as JJ. All right, so very cute piece. Very, very cute piece. Looks like they're standing either at a windowsill or maybe in a church about to... No, they're not getting married. She doesn't have a dress on. So probably standing in a windowsill. Very, very pretty. Let me get this out. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right. So we have more thick, beautiful, yep, yeah, beautiful, stunning pearls. These are old. You can tell they have age um, by the luster. Just very, very nice and beautiful ball closure. And I think, yeah, you can also tell age by that. And so that's going to be sterling, I'm sure. Maybe gold. Nope, 925. Really luxurious. Nice, big, thick pearls. <coughs> All right. So we have some scarab. That's probably jade or nephrite. I'll have to test it. And she's thinking they might be gold. So I'll hit it with my um, gold machine and just see. Um, my gold machine, of course, is at the office. There's, they're not magnetizing at all. So I would think they're definitely gold filled. Um, or definitely, uh, if they're not gold filled, then they're maybe like a 10K. Uh, 14k so i'll test them and see love it all right more beautiful pearls oh it's a little set all right so yep set in sterling we have genuine pearls so a matched um bracelet and necklace a little marcasites Ooh, that's pretty Reminds me of Judith Jack. Very, very pretty set. I love Judith Jack. I bought an entire collection from another um, company who couldn't sell them. And I um, ran through them in a matter of weeks. So I wish he would call me with more. Ooh, we have a lot of pearls. Looky here. Beautiful pearls. These are hand strong. Most of these are going to be hand strong. So really no other way. So this one might, oh no, these are genuine. Beautiful little Baroque, genuine baby pearls. Love it. Ooh, now these are nice. These are very luxurious potato style pearls. 925, two strand, stunning. Got another very dainty, that's gonna be sterling, dainty pearl bracelet. This is a vintage set for sure. And probably marked, yep, yeah, it's marked on the interior. So always when you're looking at these, usually the 14K or whatever will be marked on that little lip right there. But a lot of times, they're gonna be marked inside of here. So I can't see right away what this one says or is. Actually, yeah, it says sterling. But beautiful, genuine uh, baby pearls. <clears throat> Ooh, this is pretty. All right. WW, have to look that up, but these pearls are beautiful. Almost, I don't know if these are called blister pearls. Not sure, but this is stunning. And I like those little caviar beads, caviar style beads. Very pretty. So 
So we have a leather, um, a leather and pearl, very fine. Look at those Baroque pearls with this leather band. These are very nice. Very, very nice. And sterling closure. <coughs> Pardon me. And we have two more sets here. Beautiful, genuine, yep, genuine pearls there too. And even more here. How pretty. If you like pearls, bookmark my auction site. Because I've got the mother load. All right. So I've got a bunch more here. Well, that's a double strand, but I'll. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Five different genuine, beautiful, genuine uh, pearl necklaces. Absolutely beautiful. All set in sterling. Put these there. All right. All right. So we have some very oldies. These are oldies. Screwback, sterling, black onyx. Black onyx or jet. Earrings, very pretty. Ooh, sterling and 14K. How about that? So there's our markings there. So sterling, these little bead spacers are um, 14K. And then these are maybe, I can't really tell. I'll have to look under the light if they're like a hematite, um, but I'll have to look and see, but that's beautiful. All right, 14K roll gold. All right, let's have a look. All right, yep, so we've got a marking there. It's probably gold plated or filled. I'm not familiar with that mark right away. But this is um, oh, a little sweetheart bracelet. It's very old, very, very pretty. So I'll do some testing to determine, you know, if it's gold filled, gold plated. Um, ooh, more Millefiori. Beautiful Millefiori. Um, art glass, sterling pendant with sterling chain. Very, very pretty. We are getting there. If you've hung in this far, thank you so much. All right, more sterling. Beautiful closure. These are jasper beads, ice cold to the touch. Signed in the back. Very pretty. Oh, this is Ben Amun. Ben Amun. Ammon, I'm not sure how to say it, but I have two necklaces by him in my auction this week. Um, beautiful gold tone, textured gold tone. Very, very, very couture. Nice piece. Faceted rock quartz. Very likely set in sterling. Yep. Beautiful faceted beads. Very, very, very pretty. <clears throat> Ooh, more Millefiori. Let's see. Yeah, so these this might be Milano. She might be right. Let's look. Oh yeah. Beautiful. 925 Italy. And then there's some more marks here. So she's kind of thinking that this is Murano, and I agree with her. Beautiful Millefiori and beautiful crystal here. Set in sterling. Look at that. So pretty. I love Millefiori paperweights. 
I think that there's just few things that can compare in beauty. Oh, so there's Slovarski. You see a little salon. And here's our little brooch, the little crystals. So a silver and gold tone. Ooh, gorge. So this is Sterling. Sterling Art Deco um, Marcosite brooch. This would pass for even a morning. It's not as old as morning jewelry, but could definitely be worn as such. And it's also very kind of deco. I like it. Oh, I know who this is. I see the mark, the tag. This is Givenchy. There's a Givenchy. And then it should be here again. I actually think I have this piece or one very similar in auction this week. It's a beautiful crystal Givenchy dangle necklace. So pretty. So very pretty. We're getting there, guys. If you've hung in to the end, thank you so much. If you haven't, just pause it and come back later. All right, let's see. Is this Amadeo? No. A-K-K-A-O. Hmm. Not familiar with that. I will have to do my research, but ooh, look at these. Lovely. Beautiful green. Mm. So pretty. Ooh. massive. I'm pretty sure that this is Western Germany. This style, this is their backing. This is very, very common for West Germany. Um, my goodness, it's beautiful. Make sure. Oh. Close it the right way. Beautiful faceted crystals, blue crystals. And look at that fat closure. I love it. So pretty. So well made. <clears throat> All right, got about 10 more pieces. 10, 12 more pieces. All right, we've got bake light. Beautiful bake light. So a lot of people always ask me again, testing on Bakelite. So I use a foam. I don't recommend it unless you are comfortable using chemicals. Um, but the truest way for me is to rub really, really hard, get some friction going, and then you should be able to smell a very strong formaldehyde odor. And that is a good indication of Bakelite. Oh, gold tone, gold tone. Beautiful, chunky gold tone at like that. Let's have a look-see. So I don't see a mark. Let's look at the back. Very well made. Vintage gold tone. Oh, yeah. So we've got very shiny and then a very textured... Um, very beautiful piece. Very, very pretty. There may be a signature and I'm missing it, but I will look closer. Of course, before it's listed, I'll look closer. Love that. All right. Dainty, beautiful sterling silver. Probably CZs, or, or a big CZ there, and then some little CZs around. I'll test to make sure. Signed there. Let's see, just quickly. Yep, 925 SAI. So nice little dainty necklace. Put this over here so it doesn't 
it's um, tangled. All right, I'm gonna actually leave these in the bag because I don't want them to tangle. Beautiful sterling necklace. I can tell that they're sterling just by looking. Another beautiful sterling necklace. Beautiful. Let's see. Opal. Oh yeah, beautiful fire opal. Love fire opal. Stunning. Stunning. I don't want to take these out of the bag and then get them all tangled. And I'm going to set them over here. All right, we're almost there. Ooh. Beautiful. This might be Chalcedony or no. Let me see. It's not Chalcedony, actually. Might be, if not Larimar. Hmm, I'm going to have to hit this with the Presidian and see what it says, but that's Sterling. Beautiful, big, chunky ring. Love it. All right. Oh, very well-made ring. Very, very well-made. Definitely Sterling. CZ and crusted, very pretty, very, very pretty. <clears throat> Have a little garnet ring, sterling silver. Ooh, this is pretty. This is very pretty, actually. Signed. Let me see. Can't see what it says. It, it does have a maker, but look how pretty. Beautiful, huge amethyst stone. That swirl kind of reminds me of Bali. Very, very pretty. <clears throat> So these are not genuine pearls. So these will be glass pearls. And these are genuine little um, rice chip, rice pearls, seed beads. And then we have this really, really nice moonstone pendant. It's either moonstone or like a, an opalescent opaque glass necklace. This is really very pretty. Ooh. We have rose quartz. Oh, sorry. This is pink jade. Let me see. Ah, look at that pendant. Beautiful. Pink jade. Hmm. I'll have to test this to make sure. Yeah, it is a little cloud. Oh. I'll test it to make sure. Um, I trust her, of course, but um, I'll test just to make sure that I can actually call it Jade. Um, but I love that pendant. Um, kind of reminds me of something I've seen before, but that's beautiful and ice cold. And does make that very light sound that Jade will make. Last piece. What a good way to end. End with a brooch. Look at the back first. Ooh, and we're signed. Are we going to be silver? 925 KJL. Kenneth J. Lane. Oh, you know what? I didn't know that he ever did sterling jewelry or did anything with sterling. How about that? Now that's a way to end a video. That's a beautiful enameled stiletto, and I'm pretty sure that says KJL. And that is a 925. So how about that? Beautiful way to end this video. This was a very, very fun consignment. Um, thank you. You know who you are. Um, we finished it. And I will try to have this posted around the 
20, let me see, I don't know. Probably around the 23rd, I would imagine, um, for those of you that are interested in items. Um, my uh, auction link is in the description. Um, it's on high bid. And if you've made it this far, I really appreciate you. Um, if you had to pause and come back, I still appreciate you. Um, please like, subscribe, follow if you haven't. Um, I appreciate hearing from you all and thank you um, for sending me your things. I will do my very best for you and I am ready to work for anyone who is interested. And hope you all have a great week. Bye-bye.